Okay, how has the launch of the new corrosion technology program gone? And what about welding and the other existing programs? Uh, thank you, Jimmy. I think uh, the implementation this fall of our new corrosion technology program has gone very well. Our goal was to have five students uh, starting out this semester, and we actually have nine. Uh, so we work with small numbers, but we were very excited about that. Uh, some other things that we're really excited about is that, uh, you know, that we were able to implement this program uh, in a large part due to some federal funding uh, through the RevUp grant that came through the state. And it allowed us to first start the process by talking to local employers about what is needed for a workforce in this area. And uh, the idea of this corrosion technology program uh, came out as a result of those communications and the talks with these local employers. And they have stayed engaged in the process even past this fall as we launch this program. Uh, even so much so that uh, one of them is coming in and listening to the classes and giving some feedback on, you know, next time you're going over this topic, maybe you can add this or make sure that you're bringing this up when you're talking to these students, uh, which we are really excited about because it ensures then when these students leave this program that they really do have the practical knowledge to go into the field and have the tools to aid their employers right away. So we are, we're super excited about how that is working, working out right now. Uh, the other thing is um, we are still moving forward on putting an outdoor lab on our campus. And we are working with individuals from MDU and WBI Energy and also WBI Corrosion out of Billings. Uh, it will be a NACE certified site when we are completed, which means that not only are we able to use that for our corrosion technology classes and our students here on our campus, but also people that are NACE certified in the, in the industry, which is the national recognized credential for corrosion technology, corrosion programs. Uh, they can hold their trainings here on our site as well. And currently, uh, local NACE officials, when they're doing that training, are required to go to either California or Texas or Northern Canada uh, for a NACE certified site. So we will have one here in Glendive and that will be extra revenue for the college. So we're really excited about how that is working. As far as our other career and technical programs, I was just visiting with Tracy Massow today. She's our new assistant vice president of academics and workforce development. And we have our highest enrollment in welding uh, than I think we've had in the last five years. So we're excited about that. Uh, again, that RevUp grant that we've received, uh, it's a little over 500,000 in the last three years, has enabled us to purchase new equipment in that program uh, and also increase uh, what we're able to add in that program to make it much more robust for our students. So we're excited about what we're able to offer in welding. Uh, the other programs that we're looking at right now, uh, adding a little bit more to is the egg program. Uh, we're hoping to bring in a new full-time egg instructor, hopefully this spring. Uh, we're recruiting for that right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting ready to ding the bell. I hate to be the first one. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that's a program we're looking at as well. Uh, all of our career and technical, we use advisory committees to help make sure that they remain relevant in their fields. And all of them are reaching out to those advisory committees and we're trying to use those more than we have maybe in the recent past to make sure that the programs remain relevant in their field and that they're giving local employers what they need so that these students uh, can bring the skills necessary with them when they graduate.